Hey guys, very good morning to all of you. Welcome to the video number 407 and uh, my name is Ajay. I'm going to today uh, today talk about the nested if functions in VBA, how to use the if in the if conditions, right? This is not an Excel video. This is purely on the Excel VBA or maybe access VBA also. You can use this because if functions works the same way, right? So if you're watching the channel for the first time, very warm greeting to all of you. And uh, what you can do is in order to the benefit of all the 406 videos, you can log into my channel and uh, that's where you get to see all these different different categories the playlist okay so these are all the playlist and this video is specifically going to talk about the loops so what you can do uh, you know in these 44 uh, uh, different lists there is a playlist actually which is excel vba loops example so just click there and you get to see here 25 amazing videos mixture of basic videos uh, beginner level videos intermediate level videos and advanced level videos the videos which you see here in the form of part one part two part three part four part five you know and so on that's something if you are a beginner or maybe if you have a, a kind of an intermediate level in the vba excel vba you can go ahead and watch these videos so the rest of the all videos are they are all very advanced uh, level videos so if you want to take your vb to the level you can go and watch this videos so today what actually we're going to discuss so this is where this is kind of a thing which we are going to actually discuss today so please create a macro which should flash three messages now this question actually came up in my you know the, the uh, online class which i was taking last weekend so i really like this and i thought it, it would be a good to share with you that how to use the basically the multiple f's okay so now what we want to do is they say that you got to create a macro okay so let's go to the visual basic and start making the code so what we are going to do now is uh first of all i create the macro here guys okay so i'm gonna give it a name called f let's say uh, by the way you can't use the f sorry i forgot because it's a vba word so i'm just gonna write here double f all right there we go now what is the first thing i want to do the first thing i want to do is i want to put the message box so this is how you're going to put the message box and then you're going to write here uh is that an apple okay this is what we need to write and then uh, put it within the quote and then choose the right button okay because if you're going to actually you know run this code right now you get to see here okay there will be no yes or no button but for this particular example we need the yes and no right so what i will do i'll go here and i'll use the vb yes and no that's what, that's what you need to write will be yes and no because now when you run this code you get to see you know, this kind of a you know message box with these yes and no buttons and then when the user clicks yes you have to preserve that value somewhere you have to use that value so how are you going to check that um, so we can uh, we can also do one thing we can simply write that if i'm going to write the if function if if the result of this uh, complete uh, message box is going to be equal to vbs this is how you write then do what press enter and you got the error and i know why the error is there because you just forgot to the open brackets and the close brackets so we're gonna write here like this okay this way right so now when the message box comes and the user clicks on the yes that means vbs okay what actually we want to do so we want to then go in the range of the even cell it's very simple and I'm just going to write here that it should be Apple. Okay. Now the question is that what if he selects no? Okay. If if he doesn't select a yes, then what should happen? In that case, guys, you're gonna write here else if. Okay. Just copy the same code here again, excluding the if part. Else else if you're gonna write here else if, and then just copy and paste it. And here change the scenario. Right. So we're gonna write here orange. So this is what we're going to write else if else if means that if that doesn't happen if the user is not going to select on the vb yes what should happen then it should go to the else if okay we are not talking about the else else we write the else when you have a two condition either do this or do this but here we don't have that scenario if it is not going to happen then check out for the second option if that is not going to happen then check out for the another option okay again you are just going to copy this and i'm gonna put it here this time we talk about the orange right so i just within the quotes i'm gonna write here orange right again just go and copy this and i'm gonna paste it here else if so is is that 
papaya so i'm gonna write here papaya so there we go and here instead of orange you write here papaya okay finally when you have all the conditions you know uh, uh, you, when you are through with all the conditions at the end of this you just want to say that it should go to the end if mode okay this is how it is that's how you can do it so uh, if it is correct if technically the formula is correct it should work so I'm gonna press F8 and you see that the function is working uh, just in case if you ever you know forgot to write let's say the end if and let me tell you what happens when you press F8 VBA tell you VBA tells you that you haven't got the if condition without end if so you know it it's giving you a clear indication that you haven't done the if function if you have you haven't inserted the if function properly if you haven't closed the block type functions properly what else you want right because as i said vba errors are very informative they are very clear right looking at the errors with a little bit of experience of course you know as you keep on practicing you can actually rectify your errors before you go to google or any channel right right so that's something which is very important so uh, when they say that when you get this come across this kind of an error just check out your all the else and the end if because if you are writing two ifs then you have to write the two end if if you are writing five ifs then you have to write the five end ifs and one thing please note it down i'm only talking about the if i'm not talking about the else if because else if doesn't require any end if as you can see here we have used else if twice so does that mean i should write here end if two times apart from this single if which is going for this if of course not and then i just use the one f okay so there will be one end if and finally i can say that um, if nothing happens then i can write here message box uh, you have not selected anything okay. for example right this is just i'm customizing it though it is not asked in the question so now let's go ahead and run this so the first question uh, the message box which would come is so i'm going to click on the yes and when you click on the yes you see that it goes in the range a1 and it prints the apple but the important point guys the important point is it didn't go for these as if right cause why because once you have the then statement executed which is this then function never goes you know in the other else if part right one time one if will be checked so if i just run this again Let's say this time I click on the no. Now when you click on the no, obviously you see that it goes on the second else if. Very nice. Why? Because VBS is not there. It's VB no, right? You can see here if I hover my mouse, it also says VBS equals to six. So you can also use here six instead of this VBS. You can write here six, right? Because these buttons have some value. If you just um, go in the Google or maybe you can just select this and press F1, you're gonna see this Microsoft help. I'll just show you. I think I have it here. Yeah, this is the message box function. When you scroll it down, these are all the numbers which are assigned to these buttons. So I can also use, instead of the VB, yes and no, I can use the four. I can use the four here. Yes, I can write here four. You can see here, it even says VB, yes and no equals to four. Some people write four, but I generally prefer this as VB, yes and no, so that when I look at it, I, I should know it because it's very difficult to remember the numbers, right? So this is for this and for the output, <coughs> when finally the button comes in front of you and then what the users clicks on that, if you just scroll down, you get to see these buttons value. So VB OK is one, VB cancel is two, VB abort is three, VB retry is four and so on. So here VB yes is six. So I can also write that once the user press yes, so I can write here six. That's an, again the another option, right? Okay. This is just for your uh, you know information. You should know that, right? So now let's go to the else if. So let me click on the Excel back. Now, the second question would come is that an orange if I say yes you see that it goes in the part and you have the orange there and then end it it will not go for the second chat papaya message box this is what the user actually asked for right so if I just quickly run this again let's say I say no and I say no and for this I say yes see that it goes in the papaya and you have the papaya printed here if you if you're gonna select everything as no so let me delete that so if, if you just go and say that this is not an apple this is not an orange 
just not in Papaya. So finally, what you will have, you will have this else getting executed because this else is a the writing here when finally everything you know from the above is going to be false. When when all the conditions you have given there, they are going to fail. You will have this else part getting executed and you have not selected anything. So this is the kind of a thing you can use in your user forms as well. You can use your in projects as well. You know, of course, I mean, the situation will be different, but sort of that you can do it. You can, if you are working in a, some call center industry or maybe in banking, you know, you can develop some kind of a, you know, transaction message boxes like this. Is this a saving account? No. Is this a current account? You know, sort of that stuff, you know, you can use it right is this a check payment is this a cash payment so i mean the concept remains same so this is how guys you can use the nested if uh, if uh, with the else if so what we actually have learned today is that uh, for every if there will be an end if if you're not gonna use the end if then you will have the error uh, block uh, if you know without a uh, block end if without if you know the error which was coming and you have to then see your code and you have to properly place the end ifs okay and at the same time you know that else if is not going to demand any end if from you. We are just talking about the if condition. So that's it for now. Uh, we'll talk something more um, in the coming videos, right? And uh, do subscribe to the channel to support me. And if you have uh, any questions, if you have any anything to share, um, you can leave your comments on my video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll come soon.